All right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sweating right now. I'm shining right now. Uh, Gotta live your life, you aiming anything at top level. Tied a little shine, you see the ring and you see that bezel. Hey, what's going on? This is Jay Sean, and today I want to talk about a quick pickup that I have. Uh, it's a designer pickup. Now, I don't always get designer, but I like to treat myself every once in a while. I'm gonna explain my particular reason for picking these particular slides up, but I want to kind of talk and walk you through it. It's not just about the name. It's not just about certain things. It's because I, I personally, I need to like it first. I need to like it first. The brand being a brand that I like ends up making it even better for me. So I always advise people to get it from the legit uh, directly from the manufacturer or from a designer retail location that is authorized to sell these things because the last thing you want is something that you're not sure if it's legit or not, unless you're the type of person who just is gonna fake it till you make it, do you, do what you gotta do. With that being said, I was looking at some Balenciagas, I looked at some Gucci, some Versace, um, there's so many different brands you can get, D&G, uh, Burberry, Louis Vuitton, whatever. So Balenciaga slides are typically kind of like this pattern. Now I like these, these are nice, they're only like $30, uh, I like the colors and whatever, they're a nice little slide that you can just wear and um, don't really care too much about. The reason I don't really care for the, this style too much is the build quality is just a lot cheaper than what I'm used to wearing and what I personally own, right? So these right here are the general style, even though the build quality and the materials may be different on a pair of Balenciagas or something that's more high priced or even a Louis Vuitton, the general style and shape is like this kind of form fitting, a little thinner, kind of more form fitting to your foot or your sock or your, you know what I mean? It's not like a bulky slide, right? Now, again, you it will be a little bit different materials and more than likely a, a little bit heavier weighted material, but you're spending about around like $300 on like a pair of Balenciagas, for example, and it just says Balenciaga. Now, I do like them just because I like the brand, but at the end of the day, paying 250 or 300 for that, it doesn't excite me to want to get it. I would like, I mean, I like it because nothing's even wrong with this. I like this too, but I'm not excited for it. I'm not excited to pay $300 for this. Um, personally, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like I needed something more to it that would make me feel like the expensive purchase made a little more sense for me personally, right? And before I get into these slides, I'm wearing these glasses on purpose because I want to show you also, I have a pair of Ray-Bans that look like plain black glasses like this I have. Um, I just bought, I returned them actually, but they're like $400 Gucci's that look pretty much like this, but it has a Gucci symbol here. And um, instead of hard plastic, they were kind of rubberized and they, the, the problem is I have a wide temple. So when I bent down, instead of the sides going like this, they're bowed and it made it look like I had small glasses on a fat head or something. So they had to go. Um, what do you think these are? are, you, are you, do, do you think these are, um, are these Versace, Gucci? What is it? I know you don't see the branding or anything like that, but I'm going to show you basically that you don't always need like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, boom. You know what I mean? Like a thousand different super expensive brand names. You can mix some stuff up. Just don't get certain things that look like, I'm not going to tell you if these are designer or not quite yet, but um, just don't mix up things that look like it's trying to be something else. So if Gucci uses the letter G, don't go get some generic glasses that have a letter G that stands for good glasses instead of Gucci. And then that makes it, that's what makes it look corny, at least to me. But anyway, um, before I get into the actual, what, what the video is about, th these shoes right here are pretty much like a, um, a decent pickup. They're nothing real crazy or nothing like that. But when I wear them, I know a lot of shoe heads probably don't get crazy over these because they're just regular shoes and, um, they're not collector's items or nothing like that. But when I wear them in public, a lot of people like them to compliment them. I guess because just the colors are cool and a little bit different. Regular Degla people just see them and just comment all the time. So I'm just sharing it with you. And what I decided to do, if you go to toplevelclothingstore.com, you can check it out. I have a lot more things I just haven't uploaded and really handled the site well at this time. I have a lot of stuff I'm trying to juggle. But if you want something like this, it's kind of the same positive slogans and stuff like that that I'll be pushing out. Um, it kind of goes with the colors, as you can see. It's the same colorway. I have different different varieties and stuff like that, but I'm just showing you what that is. Now, let's get off of this, and let me show you what I actually came to talk about. So, with you hearing my example on the slides, let me turn them like this, because I don't want this on my table. It's kind of disgusting. So, I take care of stuff really well, right? I have three pair of slides here that I've been wearing since, I think, 2010 off the top of my my head. The main ones that I wear are these right here. Now they're a little dirty now and falling apart and they have an air bubble. They're a lot thicker, right? A lot thicker and a little heavier than you would find with these. So between wearing these two 
These feel a lot more thin and I'm low to the ground like I'm just wearing socks and they're more form fitted and curved to my, my feet, right? Whether you wear socks or no socks, these right here are a little more bulky, a little more fat, and they have more like a sole type of shoe. The bottom is rubberized instead of foam-like, right? So these will last a lot longer, kind of how shoe treading would last, at least in my experience. One thing I like about these, they have Velcro, so I can tighten them or loosen them as I need to, because me personally, I only wear like a size eight in men's, but uh, for slides, I always go one size up. The reason is because I like to relax my, when I wear slides, I like to relax my feet in, in the slide sometimes, right? So that means I'm not always hugged up on, on the slide to fit perfectly. So if I just kind of barely put my foot in, I'm relaxing the chilling, like sitting down or I'm just walking a little bit, I don't want my, um, imagine this being the back of my heel. I don't want it to be like hanging over my feet. That looks weird. It makes it look like I got too small of shoes on for the size of my foot. Just because I didn't slide my foot all the way, all the way inside, now my heel is hanging off the back. It's too much of a perfect fit. I like a little relaxed room to be able to move. Now the only problem is if you buy slides like this in designer or something a little bit more expensive, like these right here, I probably could have went one whole size up again, which is would have been a 10 equivalent because I feel like these are a little tight right here. So it all depends on the cut, but designer stuff is typically cut bigger anyway. I always go a size up actually um, for all the designer stuff that I have. So this new designer brand that I've never purchased anything before, um, I, I followed my same method. I went one size up and I'll show you in a second. I know I'm talking so much, but I kind of want to give you a back, uh, a little backstory on why I pick what I pick. It's not just because of the brand. It's also because it fits into what I normally would wear anyway, right? So these slides right here are dope. They lasted a long time, right? I take care of my stuff. I have another pair like this. Let me just show you this one. These are a cool and interesting color. The problem is I don't wear them like I thought I would. I thought they would stick out. The problem is I really don't want them to stick out too much in this kind of way. They don't always, I can't always mess with them because they're just a little too much for me, right? And then I also have these, which has become my normal, like black and gray. Now, even though these are red and black and red don't go with anything, I would even wear it even if I was wearing a shirt. I don't care because of my, my slides and the red just adds a little hint of color to it because the main color is, to me is black. You know what I'm saying? So it still goes with everything. Now, keep in mind of this style, Look at the difference in how thick these are and how these are. These fit more like a shoe. These fit more like your socks or your, like you got some thin, cheap pool type of flip-flops on or something. They, that's the, the vibe of these. They're much lighter. These are a bit heavier, better materials, right? So with that being said, let's finally get to what I came to show you. Excuse this noise real quick. Man, I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm always out of breath. So with that being said, this is the pickup right here. It's Fendi. Now, let me tell you, I don't have anything Fendi, but if anybody out there who has never bought anything designer, typically speaking, when you buy designer brands, they have really good packaging, high quality packaging materials. Some people don't care, and I get it, you're not wearing the box or the materials that come inside the box, but when you're paying a lot of money, you wanna feel special. You wanna feel like everything is, is good. How would you feel buying an expensive slide and it comes in a, a paper bag? You know what I'm saying? So this is how it comes box. Pretty nice packaging. When you start buying designer things, I start noticing a trend. They usually use pretty good uh, materials as, as far as packing is concerned. They usually come with dust bags, whether it's one or I said one, one or two. These came wrapped like this and separated. So this is the left slide. These are pretty heavy. Let me, let me see. Yeah, they're heavier than these. And I just touched the bottom on was dirty. And it has this right here, a little tissue or whatever. Let me just show you. This is the slide right here. It is leather on top. This feels to be just like some rubber, but look how they look. These are, these are actually dope. So even if these were Nikes, I would have rocked these. It says Fendi in the back. And if in the bubble goes all the way around, you see the bottom. It looks like it has some threading. I can't tell if that's actual threading or it's just a, uh, looks like threading or something like that. But these are a little heavy. These did go, the only thing is, see, I can't tighten these up like I can tighten these up. So these I can tighten even though they're a nine or one size bigger. These are also equivalent to a nine, which is like eight UK or I can't remember what 42. I can't remember the size exactly off the top of my head. So they're not super tight for me. I could have actually went my size with these because see how this curves up right here? 
these don't curve up, they're just flat. So if I would, so my foot is in the back, but if I wanted to like really push my foot in the front and make it like more snuggy or tight to my foot, because these are a little heavy, so you don't want them actually loose or anything like that. My foot is like a, a little bit behind this curve. So I could have actually went and got my size, but I'm still okay with this. Uh, it does have little indentions and stuff you can see that's for your, like your toe and stuff like that, but I'm still gonna wear them with socks. I don't care what you say or what anybody says, but these are still dope. I cut through a shot from earlier where I put these on real quick. I like them. So on a sack site, I believe it was, and it says Fendi right here. I think it was on a sack site. Somebody said that they were big and clunky. I think because these are men's slides and um, they are kind of heavy. You have to get them pretty fitted if you want a, a tight fit, you know what I'm saying? But I like these. So if you look at these, you'll see why I personally like these. I didn't get them just because they're Fendi, but that is a big reason. But I also got them because I like them. I feel like they're my style. It's already what I wear. So check these LeBrons out. See the style in general, how they look? Now look at these. They're very similar in the way that they're built in the look. So I'm already, this is my pocket right here. This is like what I would already wear. They just happen to be designer and a better build quality and uh, a lot more money. These right here, I think I paid, I don't know, they were close to a hundred dollars or something like that. They don't make these anymore. So you have to try to find them and stuff like that. So I bought a whole bunch of them some years back. These have like a rubber hard material on the bottom. So I imagine these will last a pretty good time, but I like these, these are dope. Let me show you both. Take these out. These are nice. Let me try and make a thumbnail, let me see. All right, that was me trying to make a thumbnail. If you are wondering how much these cost, I'm not gonna lie, they were super pricey. Way more than I would typically spend for slides, designer slides in my mind initially. I was like, you know what? I spent like $100, maybe the couple hundred dollar range. Balenciaga's, like I said, they're like regular slides. They kind of have the shape of this. I'm sure they're a little bit thicker and a little bit better build quality. But let's be honest, 250 or 300 for that, just for it to say Balenciaga stamped on it, nah, it just seems a little silly to me. Honestly, this is silly also, but at least they look different. At least you can see... I'm not saying they're worth the price I paid for them. I'm just saying, I mean, they're worth it to me because I wanted them and I couldn't get them for a cheaper price. I mean, it is what it is. But at least you could see that these, you could understand why this would cost more than this, basically what I'm saying. Whether you like both of them or one or the other, you could at least see compared to a typical slide design and the shape and stuff, you could see and tell that these should cost more because the build quality and the materials, it's more, right? You can just tell, period. Now, I always say this about designer stuff, it's only worth it if you find value in it. Obviously, none of this stuff is worth the cost. After shipping or tax, um, I paid like $630. Uh, I know a lot of you are gonna think it's crazy because honestly, I think it's kind of crazy. I'm just ignoring it. I'm just going for it because I wanted it and sometimes you gotta pay to play or you just gotta live a little bit and, and do your thing. Like I said, I have some designer pieces but I don't go crazy like every day or every week or whatever. And yes, they are just slides but let me tell you, even though I have a lot of these, I've had these since like 05, you know what I'm saying? No, not 05, I'm sorry, like 2010 or something crazy like that. Whenever these came out and discontinued like a few years later, off the top of my head, I, I don't know why I'm thinking 2010. I had them for a long time and you see I still have them. So having these this long, I mean, how long you think I'm gonna have these? I'm gonna take care of these like I do anything else, especially since they cost this much. So. Again, I would go a size up, but if you want a snug fit, if you're that type of person, you want a tight fit or probably how they're supposed to fit, you can get your size. I wanted a more of a looser fit. It's not loose, so loose where I feel like I can't wear them or walk in them, but I definitely wouldn't go more than one size up. I definitely would not go one size down. So if you want a snug fit, get your regular size in US or whatever the case is. And if you want a slightly looser fit, go one size up. These are dope. I think these are hard. I like them a lot. So I think the the retail price is like five ninety or something like that. So depending on your area and the tax you pay or the shipping and stuff like that. Like I said, I paid a little over six hundred. I think it was like six twenty nine, six thirty, something like that. So um, yeah, I like them. I never seen nobody with these. I never seen these online. I never seen these anywhere. So it's really hard for me to see through these glasses on the screen because these are like slightly polarized. Now the mystery glasses. Um, I wish I still had the Gucci's because I wanted to show you how they look in compared, uh, comparison. 
These are these gl glasses were only twenty four ninety nine. My polarized Ray Bans was like a few hundred dollars. The Gucci's was like four hundred some dollars. They're just black plastic glasses that I got from Dick Sporting Goods at all places. So if you want some cheap glasses that you just want to throw on real quick that you don't care about to at the beach, or you just got some laid back stuff on with some slides or whatever, you can mix it up as long as you just keep it simple. Um, not trying to front like it's something else and you should be good to go. You don't always have to have everything super expensive on or whatever it is. Um, I definitely recommend these if you have the budget for them. If you want to treat yourself and go a little crazy, uh, you know, go for it. It ain't that bad. I see a lot of people online. I don't know what they do or whatever the case is, but they bought a whole bunch of, you know, the Balenciaga, some Gucci's, some Versace's or whatever the case is. And they still cost around like $300 a piece. They got three pairs of them. That's still almost a grand. So they still spend at the end of the day like $1,000 on some slides or whatever. You know what I'm saying? These right here, it is only one pair, but they dope. And they definitely look like they have a much better build and type of build, like quality in general than the typical slide that you see. So I'm going to stop rambling. Make sure you do everything at top level, at your top level, because remember, you're in no competition with anybody except yourself. So make sure your next move is your best move or at least your better move. Stay tunnel vision. Stay focused. It's 2020, right? Stay safe, and I'll talk to you until next time. Boom.